what I missed for one the same. Draft her on and back for more Sharon the Wanderer. Last time, uh, we did something. I don't exactly remember. Uh, just looking at my inventory, I guess. I think we did something to do with this here restaurant. Thank you so much for helping the other day. You've, uh, yeah. So I think what we need to do is just continue on with our journey some. Let's see here. I think I'll drop by the warehouse real quick. Alright, let's see here. We can drop off this antidote herb. This scroll of need. It, nothing will happen if you read it. it this thing when things are good, but if you things happen but if good things will happen if you read it when you're in trouble. Thing is with this item is it is kind of weird. It's a weird scroll, simply put. It's because uh, it's like the game sometimes will has difficulty determining what's a good situation versus a bad situation for you. But that's just what I found. Alright, uh, let's save the warehouse data, of course. Let's check up on the pot guy. The, not the guy who sells weed, but the guy who is an artisan. This has just come from the kiln. Your newest work, the Unbreakable Jar. Master, this Pete, he seems very different from your others. Ah, <laughs> yes. I thought it would change the materials a bit, but... Hmm? Hmm? This finish is bad. There's no luster. This is just another piece of garbage. This is supposed to be a print... Supposed to be my essence of work. Blood, sweat, and tears? Ah, this is not it. How can I vent my anger? Arr! Give me your jar. Uh, no, this is not the time. Behold, I have learned my from my past mistakes. But of course, I'm Gayer Bara, Superstar Powder. Ha 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 ha! Sorry, Yama. Sorry, Yama. Bring the usual immediately. This stupid thing. This stupid thing. This stupid thing. He's clearly having a meltdown, so I'm gonna get a drink of water. Good water. Water brought to you by nature. Good for all. Except for those who probably don't need water. Get out of my Oh, that's right, I have to hold down B. I'm playing too much Pokemon Mystery Dungeon late. Smithy, for a thousand guidance, I can upgrade a weapon for you. Upgrade this here katana, my good blacksmith. You here, here we go. Katana plus eight. Very good. Well, now what? I think what we're going to do... I don't know, maybe we should just talk talk to some people. Mel, Mel Nebri was a pretty famous mine at once. I dug in the mines when I was younger with my pickaxe in hand. Now I make my living selling, making umbrellas. Okay then. Well, good thing I already have this umbrella-like hat. But I think... I don't know. I'm going to go back. So, I'm going to make my way back to Canyon Hamlet. Stupid as that may seem, it's just I want to get more money, and I want to progress more and more with storyline, so... I will kill this rice changer and see you all back there. See you around. Well, we made it back to Canyon Hamlet in one piece. Let's pick up a rice ball as per usual because it's always good to keep full in this kind of game. 
Here you are, look who's here. Here's some food. Rice ball, rice ball, yes. Let's get going. <clears throat> Let's see here. Anything I want to store? Leave items in the warehouse. Doppelganger staff. Uh, let's... You know what, we're going to put this chiropractic jar right there. Chiropractic jars are good for healing. You press them in your, all your HP and I think your strength gets replenished should it get zapped by something like a monster or an item. Let's see. Eh, we should probably explore around a little before. Let's see. The thing I want to do today is I want to see about Packagey, the fat little brother kid. Our fat little brother. Shoot an arrow at that mini robber. I know that, and this is kind of a minor spoiler, but he is a party member NPC that can be decently helpful. Like, see, there's different different uh, NPC joiners. Oh, speaking of which, for 200 guidance so I can make you feel better. How about it? Get a massage. Alrighty then. Can you please turn your back to this way? I've noticed, you've noticed I'm blind. <laughs> Oh dear, you're all really stiff, but don't worry. I'm even better than a pressure point jar. They say th things in this world the blind can't see. I'm pretty sure I've read th this dialogue before. Yep, and he hurts us. So sorry, blah blah blah. No, I'm not taking that risk. But that guy there is also a... Let's see, if I eat a restorative herb, that does not refill my strength gouge on the top screen. But it does heal my HP. But that guy there, Ketchy the Masseur, uh, he is also a NPC par party member that you can have it along in your journey. Same with, much like Oryu. Uh, he can, once you more or less unlock him, uh, he is arguably one of the better party members to have along with you. Because he can heal you, despite what he just did now. Die, mammal. Can we just please level up? I don't want to use the speed up button because of lag either, but... Come on, this lag is just... Frippin... Me off. Herbicide, whatever. You know what, I'm just going to... Probably just switch over to post-commentary. So, see you all. All right, well, voice-sovering time. We're going to probably do the rest of this episode post-commentary because, you know, I just didn't have the patience to be live commentating this game, to be honest, for today at least. So what I did here was I decided to go look for more items, found some guttons, found a mammal, killed the mammal, picked up the guttons, and decided to go on to the next floor but first to eat the big rice ball. Yep. Alright, onwards. Later on, we found Oreo again, as well as a Chintala. Ask Oreo to join us again. It's exciting to be out and about. Yep, alright, pick up another big rice ball. Might as well eat this. Well, we found another big rice ball. We might as well eat this regular size rice ball to make room for it. Alright, we have here a cursed herb of strength. Now, I'm not sure if I've gone over this, but cursed items... I'm not exactly sure what they do, but you have to... Oh my god, pickpocket. 
You know what? I, I'm going to go over the pickpocket because I am not sure if I've gone over them. They are a monster that steals money. If you defeat them bef and once they steal your money, they are at double speed and will run all over the map. And But eventually I did kill it and get my money back and some more from it, apparently. Because they always drop money. But let's go to the shop and sell our bronze ward and the switching staff as well as this dragon herb. I think I have enough of them. I'll buy items here for 777. Lucky me. Restorative herb, scroll light, and eh. I'll take this restorative herb. That today, that cost 600. Got it. Herbicide. Ooh, carry package jar. I'll take that gladly. 1950, good. Alright. Packaging isn't here anymore. Well, okay, I wonder where he is at, because usually, if I remember correctly, he should be at the bar here in the Bamboo Village to further the event, but it doesn't appear that he's here. Hey, do you know where package is? When it comes to the great job parser, there's another man guy or buyer, blah blah blah. No, he does not know where package he is. Do you know where he is? Package E? Nope, rice ball changer, whatever. Get out of my face. Just 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 leave. I'm moving on. We're leaving, Noriu. Let's get going. Let's maybe package E's up here. Is package E up here? Nope, just the apprentice. Which I forgot to talk to, but oh well. Onwards. We're going we're moving on. We're done here. We're done here. Okay, we've made it. And here's the importance of that is a undead uh veteran. And while he does he's basically possessed by a dead sold it was a dead it was an evil soldier possessed by a dead soldier. And then that dead soldier possessed an undead veteran. So, yeah, got good, good food, good XP from him. So, we'll just keep moving. Oh, that, for a moment I thought that was a monster. No, okay. Ooh, money. I want that. Uh, might as well eat this big rice ball. I think I got hungry there. Uh, I want that money. Oreo, get off of that. Last wave scroll. Ah, oh, I ran onto it. You can't pick up items if you run onto them, which is kind of stupid, but oh well. Let's get going. Here in the mountaintop forest, we find a skull mage. They are pretty much harmless because they when they do a spell thing. It, it's basically a harmless. Ooh, it's the vagabond guy. Well, well, we meet again. No, I believe that the Golden Condor can make wishes come true. I'm going to be the first one to make it to the Plains of the Sun. You won't beat me. We'll see about that one, buddy. We'll just have to see. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, you turned that rice changer turned one of our items into a rice ball. But we made it to the mountaintop town. I'm going to rest here because my strength never got replenished or whatever from earlier. Oh well. Let's see. Oh, we could uh, check up on our favorite old restaurant at the edge of a cliff. Why not? Here it is. Let's go on in. <coughs> oh, Sheeran, thank you for your help. More and more customers are coming by. How can we thank you? Well, Sharon, please sit down and have something to eat. You need, you need to pay. You've done so much for us, all right? Uh -huh. You should consider your, what, yourself one of the owners now. Well, let's let's go for it. Sharon, what would you like? Would you like something to eat? Here's our menu for today: deep fried master hen. Sure thing, deep fried master hen coming up. One order of deep fried master hen coming up. I need water. Uh, here you are, one your deep fried master hen. Alright, let's try this. Oh my god, what 
Oh my god, it's just like fried chicken. Such a traditional taste, I love it. We gained 500 experience points, and our fullness went... Is, look at that. We gained 500 experience points from one dish. This is amazing, and that was for free, nonetheless. Even already? Oh, I'm so sorry we're able to talk more. Oh, don't worry about it. I know how busy you guys are. It's good that the restaurant. No, it's not popular yet. Really? We're not at the level that we can be at. Oh, Na oh Naoki. Oh, my. Why would you say that? <clears throat> What's wrong? Your cooking is has already has a great reputation. If we kept this up, we can rebuild completely. But we still need to overtake the peak. And we can't do that with just word of mouth. That's true. It's time to make something outside of our place. If only we could find someone with influence who would come to eat here. Someone with influence within the culinary world. If someone like that would enjoy the food here. Our reputation would be sky high. Someone with influence in the culinary world. Oh dear. I can't think of anyone. I no, I can't think of anyone either. Everyone that we knew back at the peak was loyal to the head chef there. Sure, and do you you wanderers know a lot of people? Can you f think of someone? I think I know someone. You do? You can? Who is it? Please tell us. Who do you might be an influence? Me, old rice man ball, Guy Barra. Let's go with him. That, that Guy Barra, the famous potter. That Guy Barra, that stubborn old Guy Barra. What does he know anything about food? What does he know anything about food? Well, I'm not sure, but Guy Barra is certainly famous. <laughs> Someone that famous must have some influence, right? Now wait a minute. What if that guy bar has no sense of taste? I wouldn't want him to talk about my cooking then. No, you, I've heard rumors he's quite the gourmet. But he never came to the peak while we were there. He would be influenced in, you interested. The rumors that he only were interested in the very best cuisine. And that to make the, all that, make him come all that way. Would Master Guy Bar even try to fight him? I don't... If he did kill me, it would be something, certainly. I don't like it. I don't like that old goat. Why do we have to kiss up to him anyway? He's a cranky old man like him anyway. Guy Bar has always been a big baby and stubborn. I never liked him. Oh, and he doesn't have... Doesn't he have a, have a breaking jars? There was that one time we lived at the peak. We were... Heard him breaking jars all night long. It was so loud we couldn't sleep at all. Wow. Yeah, that was pretty annoying. That sound echoed across the town, didn't it? I heard Miss, Mr. Gaibara is breaking jars, but something about that. What? Oh, that? That's it. What? I thought of a way to get Mr. Gaibara over here. R really? Yes. Yes. This will work. Just need a few things. Everyone, just hang on a bit. What's he doing back there? Oh, oh. <clears throat> All right, here's. We need everyone's help. I'm gonna need everyone's help. Let's see, Mom. Gave her a scrap of paper. Mom, I want you to get everything in this list in the clo clo closet back there. Huh? You, you want, you're, why are you going to do with these? Come on, we need to hurry. Jeez, you could have told me what it was for. No respect for chun kids these days. And Susiko, I need you to pass out flyers around town. Oh, you, okay. <clears throat> and now Sheeran. I'm sorry, but I need your help too. Can you take us to Master Guy Barra's home and mail him his letter, please? Uh, I mean, why not? I'm sure Guy Barra will come when he reads that letter. And when he does, I will 
It'll be up to me and my cooking. I understand. That's my role, right? I may not like that guy bar, but if he's really a gourmet, we'll have to have something common. No way I can run away from a fight. I'm sure my cooking will win him over. I'll be with the best reputation. I will create something. Oh, thank you, thank you, Naoki. And now I have to get ready. Let's go. All right. Well, we might as well go deliver this here letter. Sorry to make you wait, or you. Though you could have just come inside with us. But anyways, let's go over to the whole Gaiabara's studio thing. <clears throat> this is going to be rough on my throat. Oh, it's you again! What is this? You have a letter for me? Here you go. Hmm? There's a flyer in here. What's this? What? 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 What is the meaning of this? It's unforgivable. Early unforgivable. Saruyama! Y yes, Master? I'm gone out. Attend me. Y yes, Master. Oh, God. Okay. I need to rest my vocal cords, so... I think that'll be it for today. So, will we make it? Will Saruyama and Gaibara make it to the peak and f have Gaibara find that it's a wonderful place? Tune in next time. All right. See you all then. Bye.